Okay, so we usually use um, our Nutribullet to grind coffee, and it broke. So I very hastily ran online and ordered this old-fashioned coffee grinder. Okay, we all know where it's from, right? Okay, it's very tiny, first of all. But second of all, I was making coffee yesterday, and I was talking about how the grind was too big and I was trying to adjust this little thing to make it smaller and Brendan says, do you even know how to work the thing? Why don't you read the directions? And I said, oh, okay, we're going to read the directions. Okay. This is our coffee mill. Okay. Attention. Before the use, should adjust rubs the bead machine. <laughs> coffee mill bead machine adjustment explanation. Okay. Grinds coffee powder, the multiple thickness, center, thin three kinds. The user, <laughs> the user <laughs> basic needs the degree. <laughs> I adjust oh, yeah. the proglottis. <laughs> Upward or moves to under. Upward is the thick. <laughs> under is thin. Moves to most under when should keep point to five millimeter crack. <laughs> Avoids rubbing the stick to increase to catch. <sighs> oh, increase or to catch. Okay. Read it, read it right. When adjust the proglottis adjustment to finish, like the chart to install the screw on piece to the other fittings, then works. All right. Okay, so, you know, it's just that easy. <laughs> um, grind it fine or thick. Did you adjust the proglottis? I think so. <laughs> Did you just rub the bead machine? I, I don't know if I rubbed the bead machine. You gotta rub the bead machine. <laughs> what happened back there? <laughs> <laughs> she said, Mommy rubs the bean machine. Well, we got our countertop installed. It's this really nice, I guess you could call it a butcher block countertop. And uh, it came out well. I mean, better than we expected. Um, but now we gotta cut a giant hole in it to put in a sink. This is life in a tiny home. Um, at least the uh, utility costs are low, right? You about you right, ready for bed? Gabe sleeps here. Hmm? You about ready for bed? No, it's only twelve thirty-nine. When you live in a tiny home, you have to dual purpose everything. For instance. This stairs is also a bunk bed. Hey day. I hate moving hay. It's so much work to move hay. Man, they have all these systems and machines that help you. But still, it's a pain. So we have to load up, unload I guess right now, about two more tons of hay. Maybe three more tons of hay. By the time we're done with the day, we'll have eight tons. This is what it looks like on the truck, on the trailer, and on the stack. Some things we do here are work, but kind of fun, you know, building projects and setting up new things, showers and toilets and working with the animals. And this is just straight work. 
just straight work, no redeeming qualities. Other than it's kind of fun to stack, you know, squares of hay. The trouble is they're not all the same size. So if you're OCD, which I'm not, which I am, um, it's kind of frustrating because you end up with these stacks that are kind of almost square and almost straight, and they're always tipping over just a little bit. Today we're continuing work on the front door for the timber frame. We decided to model this door after a door that we saw when we were shopping for alfalfa. There's a little shop that has uh, this really cool front door and I'm just kind of trying to duplicate it and glue it up. This is the frame behind us. It's going to be filled with panels. These panels are the same profile as the tongue and groove floor that we built for the timber frame. We're just building them up one by one here. Never made a very good door. We made a door for the barn last year and it looks okay, but you know, it didn't weather very well. We used wood that was really green, didn't give it a chance to really dry out. And so it shows. One of the things we're doing in this door is in between each groove, we're putting in little rubber bumpers so that the tongue doesn't quite fit all the way into the groove on each joint that'll give it a little room to expand and contract as the weather changes and the humidity changes. I've made several mistakes already but that's how it goes. So if you can picture it this is kind of what's going to go in to the bottom, the bottom section. I think it's gonna look kind of pretty.
Did you peck your fingers? 